Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to math. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. And today we are going to um, talk about integers. I know, strange name, but we're going to talk about integers. And we're going to start with just some of the vocabulary that you need to know when we're talking about an integer. So a number line is a really great way to show numbers that are greater than and less than zero. And numbers that are the same distance from zero are called opposites. So we're starting today, when we start talking about integers, that means we are expanding our knowledge of uh, the numbers and digits from positive numbers to also include negative numbers. You have seen negative numbers before. You see them on a thermometer. When the temperature goes below zero, it goes into negative numbers. Well, all these numbers have opposites. A positive six has a negative six as an opposite. So, Zero is not positive or negative. So the opposite of zero is zero, right? And on a number line, like you see here, all the numbers to the left of the zero are considered negative numbers. And they have a little minus sign in front of them. And all of the numbers to the right of a zero are positive numbers. So integers, are the set of numbers that include all the counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, and their opposites, that's all those negative counting numbers, and zero. Those are all integers. So if we were gonna graph the numbers on a number line, so I've got a number line here, and we're gonna graph negative two, negative one, and positive three just to make sure that you know where they are on a number line. So negative two would be right there. And negative one would be there. And positive three would be all the way to the other side. Realize that when we say positive three, that's like it doesn't have any kind of symbol in front of it. It's three. And then if it has a minus sign in front, we don't say minus we say negative. Now when you look at a thermometer, you say below zero, but we also can say it's negative five outside. More vocabulary to know when we talk about integers is something called absolute value. An absolute value is when um, you are telling me how far, how, what is the distance, how many spaces is that number from zero on a number line? The distance will always be a positive number. So the absolute value of six is written like this. We put these little straight lines on both sides of the number and that's the symbol for absolute value. So the absolute value of six is six, because on a number line, it's six spaces away from zero. And the absolute value of negative six, again, those absolute value bars on both sides and the negative six inside, but its absolute value is six, because it's six units away, six spaces from zero. When we see these um, negatives written this way, this is how we say it, we say negative three. And when there's a negative outside the parentheses with a negative inside, it means the opposite of negative three. Can you figure out what that is? You're right, the opposite of negative three is three. And then absolute value of negative three, because those, straight bar lines are on both sides. So let's look at an example here. Um, to write the opposite 
um, and an absolute value of an integer. You've got the, the integer here, 125. Its opposite is a negative 125. Its absolute value is 125. Here is another example. The opposite of negative 5,846 is 8,000, I'm sorry, 5,846, and its absolute value would be 8,000, <laughs> its absolute value would be 5,846. So in Google Classroom today, I'm gonna back up just a little to see these charts. That is what your assignment looks like today, okay? You have one column that will have the integer, and then you'll have a column that asks you to type in its opposite, and then a column to type in its absolute value. So remember, the opposite of a positive number is to put a minus sign in front of it. And you have a minus sign that is on the keyboard of your computer that you can type. If you are on a laptop or a computer, it's up right after usually the zero. And you don't have to use the shift key. You just hit the key and it's a, it's a minus sign or a hyphen or a dash. And then absolute value would just be the number with no minus sign in front of it. Just like in this example and like in this example. If the number is a negative number, its opposite is going to have the minus sign gone. And it'll just be positive. And then the absolute value is always a positive number. All right, remember that if at any time you are confused or you're not sure, you can reach out to me, you can email me or call me or text me, and I will help you. So be sure to look over your work before you turn it in and, and I'll see you later. Bye.